Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be bringing you some Anthem 4K gameplay. Now I initially played the game at the maximum settings. This time I want to be using some custom settings just to see how I can, or how close I can maintain over 60 FPS. So I'm playing at 3840 by 2160 of course. Graphic settings now, I've disabled motion blur. Um, depth of field I've left enabled. Chromatic aberration I've disabled as well, but most of you guys really do not like it adds a multicolored fringe around certain objects. Now for settings, I'm using no anti-aliasing whatsoever, but at 4K, it's not a big deal. HBAO as the ambient occlusion method, you can go to full, but again, I'm trying to reduce settings here and I'm using all settings at high. So I'm making a compromise from ultra to just to see how much it affects performance. So on screen display there on the left hand side, just so you guys can see in-game statistics, and uh, let's get into it. So right now doing around 62 frames per second, which isn't too bad, but there isn't much going on. So let's see how it, what happens in a higher, higher demanding areas when there's more enemies on, on the scene. It did drop to around 52 a moment ago, but um, it's got a very brief moment. So from, from what I've seen in my comment section, it's not everyone's cup of tea. But um, it's a half decent game. I mean, I'm not going to make too much of a judgment on it. I'm going to give it a chance. I was very critical of the Division 1 when it first came out. And uh, I returned to it a few months after. And uh, it turned out to be one of my favorite games. So I'll give Anthem a chance to, uh, to impress me. Let's take these guys down. So in terms of... What I'm doing, I am using the Interceptor Javelin class. Let me just get to safety for a minute because there is a lot going on here. These guys are really trying to kill me. I need to recover my shields. So you'll find when you kill enemies, you get a blue pickup and a red pickup. Blue is for ammo, red is for health. Both are obviously crucial to survival. I'm going to enable my ultimate now. Basically a berserk state melee state that I go in and I can literally just attack my enemies without taking any damage for a short period of time. I want to take full advantage of it and take out these heavies. By the way, when this recording may look a little sat overly saturated, the reason being I'm actually playing in HDR mode right now and uh, the problem with the demo is does not allow you to disable HDR if you do have a HDR compatible monitor while playing at full screen mode. So, uh, recording is going to look a little strange, but uh, it's not too much um, of of an issue. So, hopefully, you guys understand. One thing I will say though, playing this in HDR is a real treat. There's a lot of dark caverns and areas where there's a lot of dark and light together. And the good thing about HDR is really brings out the sharp really really bright explosions and just cannon fire just any energy weapon energy based weapons and light sources in the darkness just look absolutely stunning because HDR does a really good job of separating um, dark and light sources without you know, brightening in the area too much so it really really does um, a great job in this HDR profile is not bad at all it could do so do with some work and um, just HDR in general on Windows 10 needs some work, but uh, I've definitely seen worse games, and this game's uh, not too bad. Oh, this thing finally decides to die. So what we're doing is um, looking for echoes. So this little white orb that's following me is an echo. I need to deliver it to this source here, and we can move on with the game. So that's all the echoes collected now. Let's collect some loot. It's always the best part, isn't it? Of course it did. Hate to say it, but that thing is probably what's producing the eggs. If we don't get rid of the source, the scars will come back and keep making weapons. Hey, find me a way underground. Already done. I wish you guys could see what I'm seeing. The explosions are just amazing with HDR. They're so bright. Um, in standard dynamic range, um, it doesn't look 
half as good, it has to be said. Um, high dynamic range, in some cases, really do spring out um, hidden potential in some games. So we're going to move on now to the cavern and to locate the egg source. Right, look all down my uh, burners. So where are these guys? They're taking their time. I do love the Interceptor class Javelin, it's just like a ninja almost, it can do a triple jump, it's really nimble on mobile. So in these action packed areas you can see we're in the 40s at the moment so even on high settings with no anti-aliasing do not expect to hold a lock 60 even with this kind of setup that i'm running where did that guy go let's all kill him oh, they're all dead moving on Let's kill all of these spiders. Alright, time to throw a dip in the water now. Okay, so what you gotta do is just try to follow the lights. It is a bit difficult to control in the water because it, it takes a little while to uh, get used to it. But uh, follow the lights, you should be fine. Alright. Everyone made it through. That's a lot of eggs. You know what they say? You've got to crack a few eggs to make an omelette. I don't want that omelette. What is that? Another relic. Careful, freelancer. It's unstable. I hate it when they do that. What do we do now? Okay. Alright, so we've got these more stuff to collect. Put in one place. So, you know, the objective is pretty always kind of similar. Which is why I can understand some people's criticism as in the levels all feel the same. But um now, for me, it's still too early to judge completely. So I want to go and grab a relic for myself and just help out the team. I don't think anyone's gone this way yet. I'm going to grab one and bring it back to the area it's meant to go. Okay, where is it? Oh, it's here. So he's got it now. Oh, he hasn't got it yet because he can still fly. When you pick these things up, it stops you from flying. So I'm gonna pick this up now. Okay, so now I've just gotta fight my way out of here. I'm just gonna to have to run by foot now. So doing around 60 to 70 frames. On average, I would say you would score over 60 FPS with these settings, with this kind of setup, but um, minimums definitely are going to be below 60 frames. Let's see if I can just jump all the way up here. It's good thing about the Interceptor class, it can triple jump. So we've got six more of these fragments to return. I'm just waiting on the other team. Okay. Take this for now. Take these guys out before they just kill me on the sly. Deal with these little minions. Good work, lads. So that one's been blown up. 
difficult to find anymore. Alright, taken down. We'll grab some ammo. Ammo is free. Free lancer. More scars. I know. These will get so powerful. Wow, there's a lot of these things just popping up out of nowhere. Alright, I want to use my ultimate now just to cut a few of these down. It looks like it's a dangerous situation. Wow, it's really all going on now. I can't even see what I'm doing half the time. There's so much explosions going on in front of me. This is a good time to be using my ultimate attack. I'll take down some of these enemies. It's all going off here. Take this guy down. And he is really, really tough. One elite scar hunter down. Take another down. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. Wow. Barely got out of the line of fire. We've had to fall back. Even their Colossus has had to fall back. I'll try and provide support from a distance. Man, these flames are burning me to death. I'm gonna stay out of the way. I really need to help my comrades, so I'm gonna fly over these guys. Let's try and heal. Ah, oh, couldn't quite get out of the way. Our squad's defeated. Oh well, we did alright. 